Hey guys, what's up? So in this video I'm going to show you some features of iOS 7 and I'm going to try to be pretty quick and sweet but also try to uh, show you uh, a lot of the cool features and maybe a few that you may have never seen. Alright, let's get into this video. First I'm going to start with the lock screen and as you can see it's kind of got this new uh, animation 3D effect because of the gyroscope you can see like the pretty stars which I thought was really nice but I have a feeling this is going to cause a lot of battery drainage so they will definitely need to change this before the full version comes out come uh, September or October uh, next I'm going to show you uh, notification center which you can access from the lock screen now and it's a little bit different than the iOS 6 notification center uh, it kinda shows a calendar view of your day your stocks and what you have scheduled for tomorrow uh, no longer do you have access to like the weather and you don't have access to like the quick share features for Twitter and Facebook which I am not quite happy about and here you can click like all to show your all of your notifications and your missed notifications and let's see also there's control center which you can access from the lock screen as well and you can control airplane mode Wi-Fi Bluetooth do not disturb orientation lock brightness uh, check your music you've got a flashlight app now your clock timer and stopwatch your calculator and a dedicated camera key so let me show you the flashlight see now you got a flashlight and anyways that is control center let's go ahead and slide to unlock and you can see the icons have changed basically all the stock icons have changed uh, let's see um, game center now gives you kinda like I think a bubble effect yeah see uh, basically it gives you a bubble effect you know which is kinda cool and it kinda looks like the makes the bubbles kinda move when you move your uh, device around um, settings is uh, basically about the same but kind of uh, more white and it just you know kind of a cleaner look um, let's see, reminders is basically the same, I think, I'm pretty certain anyways. Uh, I don't think much has really changed in it, kind of just a cleaner look, I guess. Uh, ca uh, contacts is basically the same, just the icons different, but I can't show you that because I've got personal information. Uh, calendars is pretty much the same, uh, but kind of a cleaner look. Uh, basically it's just the icons that have changed and that's not even a guarantee uh, before the final release comes out they could change back and here's weather which they've kind of changed it a little bit it kind of goes with uh, what it is like you can kind of see the sun up there in the clouds uh, now you can check like humidity chance of rain and what the temperature feels like etc five day forecast um, let's see, uh, photos kind of got a little switch up, uh, now if you have multiple photos, you can check your collections, your moments, and your years, and it kind of groups them all together. Uh, let's see, let's go into camera. Uh, you've got, uh, options, you can swipe over to do video, uh, swipe over to do a photo, uh, tap HDR for pan, or HDR for H. DR photo. Um, uh, you can slide over and do a square shot, which would be perfect for Instagram, or you can do panorama. And also with square, they've even got filters. You can hit this button and see whatever you decide to take a photo of. You can kind of see like what the filter color would look like. Um, see switch to the front <laughs> you can see what I would look like with some filters uh, 
Um, let's see. Also, I was wanting to show you something in video uh, that is only in this beta that I know of, unless and I don't know if it will actually make it in the final version. Uh, but you can pinch the zoom in video mode now, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Um, let's see what else. I think the uh, Safari, you know, has had a few little changes. You can now switch tabs a little bit better. Um, like, so you have like this kind of uh, carousel effect, especially if you have multiple uh, windows open. Uh, you can add favorites now, not just bookmarks. Uh, let's see. Oh, it also, uh, let's see, it kind of like when you're scrolling, um, which this page is not really good to show you that. Um, let's go to Google and let's search for, there we go, Apple TV fourth generation for the heck of it. And as you can see when I'm scrolling, do you see like the bottom bars disappeared? It gives you more like a full screen kind of aspect. And then when you start scrolling back up, all the stuff comes back. So that's Safari. Uh, here is multitasking. Double tap the home button. And you got this new look of multitasking. And you can go back to anything that you were in. And basically if you want to close something out, uh, you just swipe it up just like so all right I'm gonna go into music cuz I want to show you that next um, right here is music and I was wanting to show you uh, cover flow the way the cover flow looks now which is really cool and so you can just scroll through and pick your music whatever you want to listen to um, and then say you find an album you want to pick just touch it and see it actually shows you the album art and tells you what it is and blah 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 which that is wrong right there I don't know why it's doing that but uh, and that takes you back to cover flow so yeah that's just uh, the new cover flow for you guys. Let me check one more just to see if something's not goofed up with it because that's weird because that wasn't even the right song. <laughs> Things could just be goofed up because it is beta. But yeah, that one's right. Anyway, that's cover flow. Uh, let's see what else can I show you. Oh, I was going to show you iTunes Radio, which is kind of a big deal. It's uh, Apple's, uh, basically Apple's new Pandora, or you could even possibly compare it to Spotify. But basically you can just pick channels or radio stations, and up here it'll have fe featured stations that you can scroll through and listen to. And then see, like... Yeah, and then also if you're an iTunes Match subscriber, you can listen to this iTunes radio uh, basically ad-free. Otherwise, there will be ads. And then see, when you do listen to a song, uh, if you feel like you want to buy it, it, iTunes does give you the link up there, the little buy button. You can click to buy it, and you can click info here, and it'll show you more about the artist and more about the song. So, yeah, this is uh, iTunes Radio. I thought it was pretty cool. So, anyways, I guess that's basically iOS 7 in a nutshell, guys. Um, uh, app, the App Store kind of had a little refresh. Not much, but basically it's got this new Near Me section so you can see what apps people are downloading in your area. And also apps automatically update on their own now. So you no longer have to manually go into the app store to update your apps. But as far as I know, I have not figured out how to get these off. So hopefully in future releases, they will fix that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, 
if I forgot anything, I apologize, but I just wanted to cover the most important stuff that I thought was uh, most notable to uh, share with you guys. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, by all means, please click the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Peace. I'm out of here.